<laughs> the banished zone is the banished yard. He tried to say mystic mind is balanced. He compared it to skill drain. <laughs> and I'm high out of my skull right now because of my cancer meds. Oh, sit on my ball. Sit on my face. Try to relax your anus. Also, this dude's grammar sucks ass. Let's dive on into this hilarious ass comment. <laughs> Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. Destroy the evil living crap out of that subscribe button with your big, soft, hopefully unrelaxed anus ball so that we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers ladies and gentlemen i'm in such a good mood my cancer meds are kicking in and we are doing so good and we are high as a kite and i may or may not have cut myself while shaving so i'm kind of in a little bit of pain but you know what this comment makes it all the freaking better so if you didn't catch my last video from about two days, maybe one day ago now, depending on when you see this video, where I was talking about how Yu-Gi-Oh is so stale and boring, and I talked about how I was playtesting against a Sky Striker deck on EDO Pro, and I lost because of Mystic Mind. Talked about how I could have played it better and all that fun stuff. Um, but the comment that I got in response to Mystic Mind, especially with your boy being high off my cancer meds right now, was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I literally had to like sleep on this for two days to make sure I could like say everything that I need to say as my phone tells me I have a low battery. I apologize about that. So let's just go ahead and dive into this beautiful bean of a comment. So he says here, Mystic Mine, like Skill Drain in parentheses, is probably a heaven send. A hey, fucking excuse me? <laughs> because if your play style is omni negate and brick your opponent, then summon 50 different times, in all caps, you're the troll. I like how he used the proper your in this sentence because his grammar turns into booty booty butt cheeks later. The game has gotten stale cause of there's too many hand traps, exceeds, link, synchro, pendulum, he spelled pendulum wrong, super effect monsters. <laughs> What's a super effect? <laughs> it's, it's like not every card needs 50 different effects on the field, graveyard, hand, and banish yard. My backyard is a banished zone. I'm, I'm gonna go get my swap frog that I banish off road and tone. Hang on, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be right back. My backyard's now the banished yard, folks. Uh, let's see. It's like pick one, two rarely. That's my op opinion. He spelled opinion wrong. He did O P P I N I O N. That's opinion. That's my opinion. No, it's it's your opinion. <laughs> it's not skill to just take 50 years and OTK your opponent. Yes, it is. We're going to be getting into that in a minute. It's like every card is comparable to the Egyptian God cards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is just completely stupid. And that should say a lot. It should say a lot that those cards are in all caps. Crap! They're crap! He took a crap out of his hole because his anus is not relaxed. It is soft, but it is not relaxed. That's a good looking Ultra Ball. Let me tell you. I love how he puts in all caps. Crap! So, <laughs> are you telling me that the Egyptian gods are crap? Or are you saying that these super effect monsters are crap? So, let's let's dive into the obvious here. First of all, uh, fix your grammar. If you make a comment where you're going to debate with me on something and your grammar's crap, I'm going to roast you on your grammar just to bust your balls. Like, that's just what we do on YouTube. We're joking around, and quite honestly, I'm running out of content ideas because this format is stale as fuck. So, uh, we're, we're, we're going to pull from whatever we can. <laughs> Um, so second of all, um, it's the banished zone. I, I know that maybe my backyard's beautiful. Maybe you saw it in one of my older videos from like a couple weeks ago or something where I'm sitting out on my pool deck. Maybe you thought my backyard looks nice. I'm trying to grow my grass back. So maybe that's why you call it the banished yard. If that's the case, thank you. It's the banished zone. Also, that's not how you spell opinion with OPP. It's a bit different. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's because I'm high as shit. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh, third of all, you did, you cannot compare Mystic Mind to Skill Drain. I know you did not just do that. <laughs> They're not even comparable. That's like comparing like uh, uh, Golden Land Forever and Omni Negate Trap to something like Jinzo. Like 
one's a monster and one's a trap that you have to set. I, what are we comparing here? So first of all, Skill Drain is much more balanced than fucking Mystic Mind because Skill Drain negates the monster effects, but yet in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can't negate a cost. So a monster, even if its effects are negated, still has to pay its cost. So you can do things to play around Skill Drain. Flip it face down with a Book of Moon. You know, have the monster activate its effect and then have it resolve off boards so that it doesn't get hit by Skill Drain. Like, there are several ways that you can play around Skill Drain. Hell, you can still attack with your bitch-ass monsters. Like, it doesn't say you can't attack. It just negates the effects. You know, unless you combine that with a Mystic Mind, then yeah, they're kind of locked out. But even then, why are you going to have both on the board at the same time? It's kind of pointless unless you're, like, trying to negate a Masquerade of the Blazing Dragon because even under Mystic Mind, they still have to pay 600 light points. Mystic Mind just says you cannot activate effects anywhere and you can't attack so you're trying to make the argument that combo decks just basically sit there and play with themselves for like 25 minutes while they make combos and build boards meanwhile you're doing the same fucking thing playing out mystic mind and sitting there playing with your diddly and proceed to play with yourself as we used to say on the channel a while back if you're a veteran you know what i'm talking about so uh also fourth of all and if you know this movie you a true og all i'm hearing from this comment is criticize 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 <laughs> And if you know what the movie that's from, you a true OG, pimp. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand the argument that this person's making for Mystic Mind. When you look at Mystic Mind subjectively, how can you make the argument that it's a balanced card? Oh, just, just play the back row hate. Play the back row hate. Guess what, pimp? People made the same fucking argument from Pure Order. And guess what? That shit got in Rata and it's still banned. Because if you didn't open the back row hate, you pretty much just lost. With Mystic Mind, yeah, it doesn't negate you from playing spells and shit. But the fact remains is that in a Mystic Mind deck, more often than not, decks are either A, going to be using it just to stall for a couple turns so that they can get more combo pieces that they shouldn't have fucking had because you built your board. You had them beat. They just happen to have the Mystic Mind. And number two, if you're playing against something like Mystic Mind Burn that has things like Dark Bribe, Solemn Judgment, or hell, Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell that locks you out of your back row destruction for the rest of that whole duel, then, like, there's no point to it. Like, am I really going to side deck in? 15 cards to beat back row hate when that's not even the main focus of my opponent's deck and they're just going to beat me with whatever main strategy is in their fucking deck so like with that sky striker matchup should i be playing 15 cards in my side deck to out back row when they could still just be beating me with other cards like hayate kagari what have you or whatever like adventure engine they may be playing in their deck maybe they're playing dpe who knows then i'm just killing the consistency of my deck to out one fucking card that's apparently balanced in Yu-Gi-Oh. i would take three skill drain any day of the week and have mystic mine in the game because it's inherently an unbalanced card when the card first got revealed people were like oh shit this seems really broken but it's a new floodgate it seems really cool you know yeah people are gonna troll with it but you can always play the outs and stuff now we're getting to the point where almost every deck is just playing three mystic mind and i would know that it's degenerate because i played 60 card branded eldritch came in 27th place and guess what i had like 10 ways to get to fucking mystic mind three mystic mind three demise the land set rotation metaverse which brings me to my next point since it's a field spell and not a continuous trap like skill drain there are a lot more ways to get to a field spell in Yu-Gi-Oh than there are to a continuous trap so you may be playing three Mystic Mind, but who's to say you're not playing Terraforming, Three Demise, Metaverse, Set Rotation. Then it's like you're playing, what, at that point, 12 copies of Mystic Mind? How can you say that that's fucking balanced? Like, no, it literally says you cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I get punished all because I summon a monster? Yeah, because that's fucking fair. Now, let's get to the combo portion of this. People have been saying in Yu-Gi-Oh! for years, especially those that don't like how Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved, that, oh, it's just you're making combo after combo, you're summoning 500 times, blah, 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 blah. But there is skill in that because, one, the player doing combos, the player that is using a combo deck needs to know how to play around hand traps. The player who's using a combo deck needs to know what line of play to go down depending on what matchup they're playing against. Is it a sprite mirror match? Is it tier elements? Is it rogue? Is it what the fuck ever? They need to know what cards to search to have their best chance of outing any sort of board breakers that the opponent has, like Dark Ruin No More, or in this case, fucking Mystic Mine. Like, Mystic Mine as a whole just punishes you if you're not able able to have something to out it how is that fair at all i get punished because i popped off and built a board like you could make that argument with nibiru but nibiru is more balanced because at least i get something out of it i get a monster like you shouldn't be able to break my board with just one card now i know people are gonna say well every dark ruler no more breaks it with one card blah, 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 blah. but the difference is that i don't take any damage for the turn and on top of that it's pretty much a case of if you can't break me that turn then you're fucked because I'm going to get my effects back. I'm going to be able to rebuild my board and I'm going to be able to OTK you. There is skill in knowing combos of a deck. 
and I have been playing this game competitively since 2008. I saw when the game started evolving from what people know as setting a monster and setting a couple back row and passing turn, and it was happening around like late 2011, early 2012, and definitely 2013 with Dragon Rulers. And I was there in the crowd saying, we need to ban all this. We need to ban, we need to ban Mermel Abyss Sphere, which is like a call to haunt it for the Mermel deck. We need to ban Abyss, Abyss Megalo. We need to ban this. We need to limit this because the game was getting so fast. But then I realized a couple years in, wait a minute. This is what Konami wants. They want the game to be fast. You know, there was someone that made a comment on my GOAT format retrospective video that was like, it makes sense the old Yu-Gi-Oh, like GOAT format and stuff is like chess, whereas the new fast game is like checkers because that's just how the game has evolved. I'm sorry that the game is no longer, I'm gonna summon Beaver Warrior and set one back row. If you wanna play that, go play that with your friends or play it on Master Duel or, or something, but that's not what modern Yu-Gi-Oh is. And if you think that every monster effect in the game has like 50 effects, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. That's more for like big boss monsters. Like, you know, something that says like when it battles, it does something. When it's summoned, it does something. When it leaves the field, it does something. You know, Mirror Jade's a boss monster. So it makes sense it's got those effects. Yes, there are ways to out it. Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Ultimate Slayer. Like there are ways that you can out these cards. You just need to be knowledgeable of what the meta is. <laughs> comparing mystic mind the skill train oh my god i cannot relax my anus we cannot relax our anus so bro you know who you are that made this comment please keep on making comments you made my freaking day these past couple days and i wanted to just ask all y'all like what do you think about this like surely surely i'm not the only one who thinks mystic mind is unbalanced actually i know for a fact i'm not the only one that thinks mystic mind is unfucking balanced like uh, please, uh, please let me know in the comments. Like, just, what? <laughs> like, no, no. And, and if we're going to sit here and say the Egyptian gods are crap, you're correct. But if you're saying that all these super effect monsters are crap, no, they're not. It's how the game has evolved. <laughs> uh, oh my God, the community, the community. Tell you what, Pimp, since you defended Mystic Mind, do me a favor and defend Preta Plant Verte Anaconda. <laughs> Tell me how that can come back in the game. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. And look, I'm not looking to hate on this guy. I'm just looking to have some good fun. Don't go and hate on this guy. That's why I didn't mention his name in the comment or in, in this video, because I don't want to like send any sort of hate his way. You know, it's, it's just a funny comment to me. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.